This is a view from the slide created of the diatoms collected from the river that have been cleaned. There is no debris left, making observation of the diatoms easy to do. The patterns of the shells can clearly be seen as well. These diatoms were collected from a slightly polluted river. What kinds of diatoms would you see from a cleaner river or from a more polluted river? Domestic wastewater flows into the polluted water of sewage canals. Bubbles are formed from detergent released into the dirty water. Attached to the surface of the riverbed rocks is an abundance of a grayish-brown bacterial species, Spherotylus, resembling dirty mop heads. Could there be diatoms in this type of water? Let's collect and clean a sample of this water and view it under a microscope. Yes, even in such severely polluted waters, diatoms are able to exist. And now, let's see what kinds of diatoms inhabit clean water. This is a clean mountain stream. Here the water is very clear, isn't it? What kinds of diatoms live in this type of water? Oval, circular, linear, and variously shaped diatoms are found in the clean water sample that are quite different from those found in the sample from the severely polluted sewage water. Diatoms can exist in various different aquatic environments. Different species of diatoms exist according to the environmental conditions present. And once again, in order, we will look at and compare the diatoms collected from severely polluted water of the sewage canal the slightly polluted river water, and the clean mountain stream water. First, we will look at the diatoms from the severely polluted water. There are many diatoms of the same shape. In the slightly polluted river water, oval-shaped, crescent-shaped, and other shapes of diatoms are present. And finally, the clean water diatoms. In this water exist diatoms of various sizes and shapes. Here it is easy to see that many different species of diatoms live in this water. Therefore, by observing the diatoms present, the water quality can be assessed. Diatoms are the most common microaquatic photosynthetic organisms. Diatoms are not only present in rivers, but also live in ponds, lakes, marshes, and moors. In addition to the sessile species of diatoms attached to rocks, there are also many free-living species. These species can be collected by using a plankton net. The ocean provides the largest habitat for diatoms. Marine diatom species are completely different from freshwater species. Tidal flats also provide a home for many species of diatoms. Diatoms can be found almost anywhere water is present. Even in household aquariums, diatoms often form the brownish scum on the walls. Diatom shells are truly a form of art. Through photosynthesis, diatoms produce a large amount of the oxygen and glucose in the aquatic environment. 
They are also useful for evaluating aquatic environments. Although an individual diatom is very small, on the whole diatoms play a very important role in the dynamics of the biosphere.